Greetings and welcome to the Friday Morning Vodcast podcast. How does it feel? Welcome back, all you Billy Bumblers, and welcome to our uh, little time together this morning. Uh, What's new? What's new? Oh, it's uh, uh, Friday. Friday. Friday means there's a new Bad Batch. Bad Batch has been totally awesome so far. Have you guys watched it? Would you agree? Do you disagree? Maybe we should just start talking about Star Wars on Fridays. Here's a question. What will be the next Star Wars movie? Because for the foreseeable future, I don't think there's anything slated, at least until 2022, maybe. Um, uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go with it. I, I, I can't imagine that they won't. I don't know. I have this feeling like. I feel like. Like we're being watched. I have a feeling no matter how much they try to avoid the Skywalker saga, they're going to continue to pull in the mythos of that, and it'll always play a part within Star Wars. And I think it would be disrespectful to not do something like that. However, I do want to see something new, but I don't want to see the past. I want to see the future. Now, I know going back and watching The Clone Wars, I've told you a million times, you need to do it. The cartoon's phenomenal. The stories are good. The character development is absolutely integral to the future of Star Wars and learning about these characters like Ahsoka Tano and your mother. Uh, So if if you're a Star Wars fan, you should definitely go back and and watch all of that and then catch up and watch The Bad Batch because I've really enjoyed it thus far. But the movies, the future of the movies, who knows what it will hold? I just want to see something new and exciting. I I want to see things that I haven't seen before, and I want to be amazed by new characters and their stories, and I want the Force to play a part of it. I mean, I want... It doesn't have to be Jedi or Sith, but, you know, you know, the Force is its in and of itself its own thing. Let's talk about the Force. The Force, well, let me, let's let Yoda tell you, because he certainly tells it best. Life creates it, makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us and binds us. Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. That's right. It binds us. Uh, The Force is... uh, doesn't need Jedi and Sith to survive, in my opinion. This is going to turn out to be one of the nerdiest podcasts, by the way. I think the Force in and of itself is its own entity, and people who can wield it without being trained, you know, that that's an interesting story to tell. In, in my honest opinion, my, my humble opinion, I think the story of somebody realizing that they have these powers that they don't know what to do with, and... and um, not seeking out a Jedi Master, but on their own or finding another one like them that, you know, also have these powers. Maybe there's a whole, you know, group of these people who aren't Jedi, but have discovered these powers. And maybe they're using it for something other than defending light or darkness. Maybe they're using it to scam. Maybe they're using, you know, there's so many little facets of having powers and being able to manipulate the the weak minded. You know, there's stories there that I, I mean, I want to write them. Let me write them. Anybody at Disney? Anybody at Disney listening? Uh, anybody know anybody at Disney? I could use a job. I need an online job, uh, at least for the time being, until kids can go back to school. Uh, Grayson should get his vaccination soon, so that will allow me to a little bit more freedom, but without Griffin getting it. Uh, you know, and I don't want to rush it either, because I don't know if it's, it might not be good for kids under 12 years old right now. I'm, I'm a little nervous, to be completely honest, about my 12, you know, 13, he'll be 14 in June. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, but it is, I mean, I can understand why people would be a little sketched out by it. The best thing I can recommend doing is going back and watch Last Week Tonight with John of Oliver, where they talked about it and discussed it, because it made me feel a little bit better about it. And there are a lot of weird conspiracy theories out there that, that some people cling on to, which is totally understandable because it's not unfathomable. We live in a world where things that at one point were unquestionable, like there's no way that could happen. And now we question everything because we're like, yes, it could. Like we live in a fucked up society, but one that I hope to rebuild personally with love, compassion and kindness. Will you join me on that road? I hope you will. And if you're interested in joining me on that road, you should purchase some vodcast merchandise. Every little bit I get a fraction of. Let's thank Rick Brady. He purchased a mug. Take a look at it. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Don't you wish you had one too? 
maybe a poster of me. Wouldn't you like to put a poster of this mug on your wall? Or maybe my mug on a mug? If not, don't worry about it. It's cool. But, you know, anything that gets the name out there. Good news is bad news with Gary Gnews. All news is good news with Barry. Remember that? Great Space Coaster? That was a good show. It was no Star Wars, and it certainly was no Fraggle Rock, but still a good show. I have a fun video coming out soon. It'll just be a one-shot deal. But I spent some time yesterday at a place called Sequest at our mall. I'm never a huge fan of going to visit zoos or aquariums. Um, I know in some cases animals are rescued and they they can't go back out into the wild. And those places are great, but I don't really think it's our place to go in and really poke and prod. You know what I mean? Let, let's let's do the best for the animals. However, we have family in town, a lot of kids here, and uh, it seemed like an appropriate thing to do and a fun thing to do for the day. And it was actually a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I really thought, you know, a, a mall aquarium, there's no way that can be any good. But it was fun. It was short. Um but there was more in there than I anticipated. And I have a video of a lot of fun and interesting footage I got. So I'll, I'll share that with you sometime next week when I have a time to sit down and actually uh, edit this. Uh, as for today, though, I've been working on my other podcast with my friends, uh, Corey and Frank. It's called Hi From Space. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. Probably not because there's nothing about it on the Internet at the moment. <laughs> However, things are progressing very nicely and um, I can say we're on track, I think, to get something down by June. You know, by the end of June, I think we'll have some stuff. Um, but we are going to release them probably by the season or at least film them by the season so that we don't have to feel like we're always rushed. However, if you're looking for information, it is coming and uh, it's getting tighter and tighter with every week that we work on it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, keep your eyes peeled for the DNA results. Those should be coming back within... Well, it was originally six to eight weeks and they received it. I don't even know. I'd have to look at a calendar, but it's been quite a few weeks now. So we should have a Let's Get Racist coming out next week or the following week sometime soon. And I'm not promising anything because I don't know what I'm going to find out. Who knows? It may turn out that everything was just the truth in the first one that I got. It was right. It was accurate. And uh, that's just the way things go. And if so, I can accept that. I can totally accept that. But if not, therein lies the mystery that you and I together can explore. And if you like exploring like I like exploring, then consider liking, commenting, subscribing. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and as always, boy howdy. Ha, 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 ha.